Penn State secondary coach John Butler is back in his home state. It meant a lot from a professional standpoint and, and from a family standpoint. This is the first time that I've been within three hours uh, of my home. You know, I would have came to Penn State if I wasn't from here. There's an added bonus for both me, my wife, and my son, Manny. He's with me all the time. He's crawling around the office. He's been in defensive meetings with us, watching tape with, you know, Coach Johnson and Coach Roof and Coach Vandy. He's falling asleep in my arms. It's not uncommon to be able to come in and see him, even if it's just for half an hour, spend some time together. So it, Coach Burns so great about that. You gotta be here. Butler not only works with the defensive backs, he also coordinates special teams, and virtually everyone gets deeply involved. I like what we're doing. I think the way the staff is set up, it's not one guy running the charge and everybody kind of following the lead. You really got six guys leading independently and now everybody's more invested. So you really have six total coaches involved. Butler and strength and conditioning coach Craig Fitzgerald have known each other since they were teenagers. We've been very lucky to, to work together now at three different jobs and one that we both hope to be at for a long, long time. Defensive coordinator Ted Roof has teamed with Butler in the past to dissect Big Ten offenses. Ted and I have gone to battle together at the University of Minnesota. You know, I learned a lot from Ted. I know Ted's mentality come game day, so there's nothing that's going to shock me, you know, when I'm not going to be surprised at the things he calls. And that's one of my jobs as a coach right now, to prepare them to let them know the mentality that Ted has when he gets into a game. There is a domino effect on the Penn State defense, and John Butler coaches the last line of that defense. The linebackers erase mistakes for the defensive line, and the secondary erases mistakes for the defensive line and the linebackers in the run game and the pass game. One of the things we impart upon our guys is that most importantly, don't let anything behind you. You know, whether it be something that starts in front of you uh, as a running play, or obviously in the, in the passing game, keep everything in front of you, let's live to play another play. We're looking for guys that have man cover skills. They have to be fast, they have to have quick feet, they have to be confident. Good size, good length, good footwork, great competitive skills because we're gonna be playing a lot of man coverage and competing up at the line of scrimmage. And then obviously the ability to tackle and the ability to play the ball. And playing the ball is not just intercepting it, but you're able to get the ball out. Fumbles the football, Penn State recovers! In life, you're always falling back on your experiences. And most of the lessons that I've learned, I learned through experiences both good and bad, on the field and off. One of the key elements of being a good coach is that you've got to be able to relate to your players. And we still go out and you still play, whether you're playing pickup basketball, or you're playing softball, or you're playing golf. You know, there's a competitive element that you're always falling on. Bill O'Brien gets doused on the sideline. That everything you're doing is for the good of the team. You know, there's one goal here. It's to build the most unified and best football team on the field and off the field that we possibly can. Be in a competitive environment, be coaching the game of football, and then being able to do it at a great place like Penn State, one that has such a great history and tradition. One that honestly will be one of the best football programs in the country moving forward. You add all those things together and being able to do it with your family so close, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. So we can get this train rolling down the track, okay? Whatever it takes, don't think. One, two, three. Whatever it takes.